everybody, my name is Kitty and today I will show you one and two point perspective uh, grid in Photoshop. It's really easy. Press new, 1280 by 720, okay. Background color is important. We make a new layer and from here we drag down one horizontal line, depending on what you would like to view. And we go over to the drawing tool and we choose polygon tool. So from here, make sure the shape is collected, fill is a dark color, stroke don't need to be anything. Uh, it needs 100 sides and a star. And you should have 99 sides spite. If you don't want that, you can always have less, but then it will be less lines as well. So depending on what you like, actually. But I like 99. Now you just drag it from where you want your perspective to be. And here you go. Here you got your perspective. So if you now would like, you can take a square box, fill it with nothing, stroke probably should be, probably shouldn't be any more than like one or two, and you choose the line here, and to the line on the end, and there you go. Now you got your star of your room, and now you just take the line tool and start drawing the lines. The more time you do on this and the more exact you will do it, the easier the rest will be. So this is only a quick demonstration. But there you got your basic room. Now you can start drawing. So from here I will show you two point perspective view. From these I would actually like to have one helpline on each side. And I will go back to the polygon tool, fill with a dark color stroke, not necessary, that doesn't matter, and the same on the other settings. So from here I drag it here, all over to the other side, and I do the same on the other side, drag it all the way over here. Now you've got a perfect two point view perspective grid. So from here you can start drawing, if you now have the line tool, you can start by holding shift, dragging upwards, and there, wait, I'm sorry. Holding it there, dragging it down, dragging it down there, and here you got your view. So now you can start following the lines and where you would like your room to be. From here you can try everything and you can make many rooms then. There you go. So now you just have to draw in everything you would like. I hope you like this tutorial. Please hit the like button and I will see you around. Bye!